Good morning, guys, from Pamu Cali. But before I go around and show you this incredible place, let me take you back to this morning. Guys, I finally arrived in Pamu Cali, and I'm just after coming off the shuttle bus. The pod is flying in the sky here. Um, but once we got to Denzili uh, bus station, we got off the big bus and somebody had said that I would have to wait for like two hours to get a shuttle bus. And then this guy we was like, oh, Pat McCallie. And I was like, yes. And he was just like, oh, I've been waiting for you. And so the bus company that I actually had booked with, um, they had organized a shuttle bus for anybody who was coming to Pat McCallie. So, it was like myself and like six others who literally went straight from like the big bus onto the shuttle bus and we were brought to Pamakali, which was like a 40, 40 minute journey. And the shuttle bus was literally like 10, 10 Turkish lira, one euro, so cheap. Um, definitely feeling a bit more energized now after my sleep on the bus. I literally didn't feel the journey go at all. So it was great. And I'm just waiting around now to go to my hotel, excited. So guys, I wanted to give you a little tour of my hotel that I'm staying in, Hotel Shahin. And it's right by the Thermal Springs Mountain. So it's definitely not as fancy as my hotel in Cappadocia, but still perfect. I literally just wanted something so close to the Thermal Springs Mountain so that I could walk walk there at the pool and I'm just up on the second level and this is my bedroom it's really small but it's actually perfect for the one night that I'm staying and that's it guys i'm going to go and get ready now because i look a state um after that long bus ride oh my god and i'm still wearing this jumper and it's absolutely roasting now oh my god um but yeah i'm gonna get ready and go up to the thermal springs and mountains and there's loads of other things that you can actually do other than actually seeing the thermal springs there is heropolis which is like this roman rune site there is a church that you can go and see there is also cleopatra's pool and there's a few other things as well so i'm going to go and get a map and see what ones i actually do want to visit so yeah i will see you once i'm all ready so guys this is just the Pamakale area my hotel is literally there and looking out at this view Guys, this is the walkway up. Little tour happening here. It's probably the worst time in the world to be going up here. It's like 10:30 now. So it's super busy. So guys, if you do want to come here without all the crowds and all the tours, definitely the best time to come here is super early in the morning when the entrance opens at 6:30. Or alternatively, you could actually go in the evening for sunset when all the tours are gone home absolutely hot i literally can see the line of people they're literally they look like little dots but there's a massive line of people there up the top of the mountain and there's just an area here that you take off your shoes because it's a unesco site and you want to keep it as protected as possible Merhaba! Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, Pamukkale means cotton castle, and there is no surprise why, because literally the entire mountain looks like cotton. Um, but when you think of cotton, you think of something that's soft. But this rock is definitely not soft. 
it's very, very hard. And some of the parts um, of it are actually quite hard to walk on. Um, but once you actually get into the thermal pools, it's really, really soft and the water is really warm. And so the water is, the water is warm because like deep underneath the surface, there is volcanic activity. And basically the lava underneath actually heats up the water and that's why it's warm. And then on the other side of the mountain is Heropolis, which is a former ancient Roman city. And this is where their front garden was, where they would literally come down and bathe and I presume drink their wine, eat their grapes, have a great time and just take in this view. Like, serious luxury. Hello guys, I've just met Hatija here in the Thermal Springs <laughs> and she's by herself here as well so we're taking like videos and pictures. Where are you from Hatija? Um, from Turkey. So, so she's from Turkey like the... Malatya. Malatya, so I haven't heard of that place but it's near Antalya. The biggest question when people come here is how exactly is this mountain white? So I did my research and I found out that volcanic lava deep underneath the surface of this mountain heats up the rainwater that has actually flowed into the cracks of the mountain over thousands of years. This water dissolves pure calcium carbon and when temperatures are warm enough the water comes to the surface bursts out and runs down over the mountain. It looks like soft jelly to start with, but when the weather cools, the carbon dioxide disappears and white sediment is left that forms the white limestone terraces that we see in the video today. And guys, a real life angel just walked past me on the mountain. Where else could you see something like that? <laughs> and guys, this is the reality behind all of my Instagram pictures. Crowds. So I'm literally taking shelter here from the sun because I think I got very burnt this morning. Very, very burnt. Um, and I don't get burnt that often because I'm pretty much always in the sun, but kind of showing off already. It's kind of a good sign. So I'm going to stay here now for maybe the next two hours. I'm just going to completely chill out. There's loads of like, um, there's a shop and there's a cafe, there's a place where you can get juice and stuff. I'm just going to stay here now until it cools down because it is very, very hot here. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of other people who are taking shade as well. So guys, I'm just headed down to Cleopatra's pool now. And this is a pool that was apparently gifted to her by Mark Antony, who was like this Roman general and politician during the Roman Empire, who she had this love affair with. And this is one of his gifts to her. So I'm going down there now. Um, I just need to cool down. It's so hot. So this is part of Heropolis, but I'm going to go there later because the heat, the heat is just too much. So guys, right in front of us is Cleopatra's pool. And a really good tip that I actually read online was to bring your own towel because they charge you for towels in there. So I literally just took a towel from my hotel. So I also read that during the Roman times, people flocked to Heropolis as it was actually seen as this thriving health center. People believed that the mineral rich waters from the hot springs actually cured a multitude of different diseases and different ailments and bathing in Cleopatra's pool was no different. The pool has this warm flow of calcium water from the hot springs and lots of marble columns and plinths at the bottom of the pool that are actually remnants of the temple of Apollo that dates back to the second century. 
So it's really, really cool to think that you can actually swim around these ancient ruins. Like where else in the world can you do that? So I decided I couldn't miss out on this opportunity to swim in these disease curing waters. So I paid the 100 Turkish Liras at the entrance. I got changed and then I willingly fell for a tourist trap when I was in there. So guys, I basically couldn't bring the phone into Cleopatra's pool to show you what it's like exactly. But basically there's loads of like marble columns down at the very bottom of the pool, which is really, really cool. And we're not allowed a phone in there because there is a photographer in there. And basically he came up to me and he was just like, you need to get some photos. Um, and I was just like, no, 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 it's fine. I was like, I literally just didn't want to spend any more money because I've been spending so much on this trip. And he was like, no, no, no. He was like, we're going to put on angel wings on you. And he was like, it's going to look great. And I was just like, no. I was like, when are you ever going to be in Cleopatra's pool again wearing angel wings? And I was like, probably never. He was just like, who cares about what anybody else thinks? And I was like, okay. So put on the angel wings and took the photos. <laughs> Uh, it was actually really good fun and he was really lovely as well but um, yeah absolutely mortified putting on the angel wings like in the pool literally full full and there I am wearing angel wings in the middle of it <laughs> so guys finally it is cooling down so I'm just about to go explore these ancient Roman ruins and here we have right up in front of us a massive amphitheater that was built in the second century and apparently it's like one of the best preserved amphitheaters in all of Turkey. It's so cool. Guys, I would definitely advise coming in the evening, like around six o'clock to go exploring these rooms or like super early in the morning because just during the day, um, during June, July or August. It's just way too hot. This is so cool. It's literally like walking through history. Oh, could you imagine the battles had here? It's a bit of a hike up there. Woo! This whole section is only one part of the city. There's so many more runes all over here. There's more runes over here and there's loads more runes over there as well. Sorry, I'm out of breath from hiking up this hill, but it's absolutely huge. Really, really big. It actually take like hours to explore all of these runes here. That's an artificial stage and some performances um, used to happen up until a few years ago um, but they stopped them now because of restoration and just again preserving the amphitheater but imagine to like watching a performance here like with the sun setting would be absolutely incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, amazing. Yes. We have loads of different options. Um, I saw loads of people up here this evening, so I thought it was a good choice to go for. Okay, guys, I know what I'm getting. I'm getting the vegetable curry, Japanese style. Excited. I literally haven't eaten anything all day since breakfast, so I am literally ravenous. So, very excited for this. So guys, I was literally just chilling out at reception, like after my hectic day in Pamukkale. I was literally up since 10 o'clock until eight. Yeah. Oh my God, it was a long time to be out. So I was literally just chilling out at reception. I was like, oh my God, I need to 
I need to just rest. So I was talking to the owners and I was asking the staff of one of the owners just 101 questions all about Pamukkale and all about uh, Heropolis. And he actually came out with this book and he was just like, this is a book that I wrote. He was just like, oh look, it's like Mustafa Shahin and I'm staying in Shahin Hotel. Um, so basically it's like an informative book, um, literally all about Kamikali, all about the Thermal Springs, all about um, Heropolis and all the different rooms there. And yeah, Mustafa gave it to me. He was just like, here, here's a gift for you. I'd say he was just like, I can't answer any more questions for this girl. Um, but it was very, very kind of him to do that. Um, so I'm gonna take it. Guys, I'm just back after my dinner. It was absolutely delicious. It was so, so good. Exactly what I needed. Um, but guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Um, I will have a new video tomorrow. I'm doing something super fun in the morning. So I cannot wait to bring you with me and I will see you in my very next video. Bye.